everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Nizzy's Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, you guys, are going to be breaking down the Sixers and Hawks game last night. My God, you guys, I cannot believe they blew another lead. First, they blow what I think it was a 17 or an 18-point lead in Game 4. Should have wrapped that one up against the Hawks to take a 3-1 series lead. Then Hawks ended up coming back and tying it up 2-2. And then Game 5... I mean, deja vu, right? Deja vu. Hilarious, you guys. I cannot believe the Sixers blew it again. This time even worse than the last game. This time they were up 26 late in the third quarter. The Hawks proceeded to come back and just annihilate them in the fourth. Ended up outscoring uh, the Sixers 40-19 to in that fourth quarter. Um, huge performances from the Atlanta Hawks. Bench players really stepping up when they had that big run to get back into the game. Um, and just embarrassment all around for the Sixers. I mean, this is two of those, some of the worst losses you could ever suffer in the playoffs, um, being the favored team, especially being the first seed. You got home court advantage. You're up by 20-plus points, and you just scoff up the lead like nothing. I mean, that is so embarrassing for the Sixers and Sixers fans. Um, I mean, I'm just in shock, to be honest, you guys. I couldn't be happier, though. I'm a, I'm a Toronto Raptors fan, so it makes me happy to see these boys uh, flub it up like that. I'd rather see the Hawks move on anyways, so we'll see what happens there. But 40-19 to in the fourth quarter, you guys absolutely dusted them up. Ben Simmons got to be the most overrated player in this league. I mean, he's got to be the biggest reason why these guys are losing, in my opinion. Um, the dude took four shots the entire game. You're starting point guard. You pay the guy 30 plus million dollars a year. He's taken up a bunch of your salary cap and he goes ahead and shoots four shots the entire game. Goes even worse, an abysmal four of 14 from the free throw line, which is 28%. I mean, this is just atrocious. And this guy's supposed to be a point guard. He's got a worse shooting stroke than Giannis does from the line right now. And Giannis takes freaking 15, 20 seconds just to get one shot off. I mean, it's just absolutely atrocious. He is not helping his team whatsoever on the offensive end. I mean, he's a liability. Ben Simmons is an absolute liability on the offensive end right now for the Sixers. I mean, he's basically a pylon out there. He'll pass it off when he brings the ball down and then just watch the offensive set and see what happens. Um, but this guy is just no confidence left in him right now, will not shoot anything. The fact that he only took four shots from the field this entire game is crazy. The guy played 38 minutes and took four shots and goes 4-14 from the line. I mean, and that's supposed to be your second star beside Joel Embiid. The guy hasn't even scored. I don't even remember the last time he scored over 10 points in a game. I'm pretty sure he only had eight or nine points last game as well. So, I mean, just an atrocious, like, eight points, four boards, and nine assists was Ben Simmons' stat line last night. The nine assists isn't too bad, but eight points and four boards is atrocious. I mean, the guy's almost non-existent out there. Um, just crazy to me, man, that they're paying this guy so much. He's hyped up so much throughout the league, like he's some bona fide superstar. I mean, how do you even make it into the league nowadays when you can't even shoot? Especially the league is all about shooting now. It's all about three-point shooting. Guys can bane him in from fucking half court these days. This guy can't even hit a fucking free throw. I mean, it's just embarrassing for the Sixers. Um, they're going to have to do something this offseason. They're going to have to try and get rid of this. If they run it back... With this same squad next year. It's over man. You guys ain't going to make it nowhere. I mean you might get lucky and make it out of this Atlanta series. But then you're going to get whooped up by the Nets in the next round. Or the or the Bucks, whoever proceeds to make it out of that uh, series. So crazy crazy game last night. I honestly you guys had shut the game off already. Because they were up so big. It wasn't that exciting to watch a blowout. And then I find out on my little app there. That they <laughs> Atlanta comes back and wins it. So nice performance from Trey Young once again. Staying even keeled and level headed throughout the whole thing, even though he's kind of gone through some shooting woes, hasn't shot a super high percentage. But he's been money from the line. He gets to the free throw line a lot, and he's been money from the free throw line. So nice stat line from him. He had 39 points last night, one rebound, seven assists, and three steals. So doing a little bit of everything to help his team win there. I'd say the biggest thing that helped Atlanta, though, is at the start of that fourth quarter, late late in the third, start of the fourth quarter, you had their two veteran uh, bench players in Gallinari and Lou Will coming off the bench there just proceeded to light it up and get Atlanta going on that big run in the fourth. Um, those two guys combined for 31 points off the bench, which is a huge number. I think Gallinari had 16, Lou Will had 15. So just providing a nice touch of offense off the bench for those guys, getting them back into the game in the fourth there. Obviously, Trey Young had a nice game. 
Um, but yeah, to me, the main story, you guys, is just that the Sixers blew this lead. Absolutely blew this lead. This should not have been Atlanta's game to win. You could go, some people could make the argument that Atlanta won this game by coming back into it. I don't think Atlanta had any fair chance at winning this game. I think the Sixers just completely fell apart. Um, the fact that they allowed them back into this game is just crazy to me. I mean, they're supposed to be the better team, hands down, especially defensively. I mean, the Sixers should be way better defensively, and they just completely flubbed it up in the fourth quarter. It's like they thought the game was over after three quarters and they could go home because, I mean, it was just embarrassing in that fourth quarter. It's like watching a G League team versus an NBA team there. Um, you know, it just didn't do anything right. Didn't get anything done right. Was missing all their shots, making bad plays, playing complacent, so... Definitely a rough go for the Sixers. They're down 3-2 in the series now. They're fighting for their lives, and now they got to go play a road game in Atlanta to try and take it back home for Game 7. We'll have to see what happens. Seth Curry, I'll mention that real quick too, guys. Seth Curry steps up huge for the Sixers. Unfortunately, it goes by the wayside after they lose. But he had a nice 36-point night, adding on seven boards as well. Um, he's the guy that's, you know... That's exactly what Ben Simmons should be doing, right? Ben Simmons should be that starting point that can get you 20 or 25 points a night. Hell, even 15 points at this point. The guy can't even get over 10 points a game right now. So, I mean, no discredit to Seth Curry, man. He did everything he could to try and help his team win. Um, Joel Embiid in the first half was outstanding. Fell apart again in the second half, but we're not going to harp on him too much because the dude is playing through a, a torn ligament in his knee right now. Um, so he's, you know... Gritting and griming through it, pushing through, trying to do the best he can. He's obviously getting a little tired in the second half. The guy's giving it everything he's got, but when he's got his running mate in Ben Simmons, who can't hit nothing, and I mean nothing, who shoots 4 of 14 from the field, you guys, or 4 of 14 from the free throw line, sorry. I mean, that is atrocious shooting. That's 10 misses, man. You lose by three points. You think if he could just make four of those, which ain't even that much, go 8 of 14, which still isn't a super great free throw percentage. 8 of 14, they would have won the game. Would have won the game if he could just hit a few more free throws, right? He missed so many free throws that it caused them to lose the game. I mean, these guys got to get rid of Ben Simmons, man. This guy's got to go find somewhere else to play. Um, he's got to work on that jump shot or something, man. I mean, you can't just negate, oh, I can't hit shots, so I'm just not going to shoot at all. I mean, how do you get better? How do you get better at shooting? You fucking shoot. You fucking shoot, you get better at it. It's a pretty simple thing, right? But Ben Simmons too afraid to shoot, so he's running his whole career off of fear of shooting. And it looks like the guy's regressing, to be honest, man. It looks like he's going backwards in time. Um, yeah, he's got some work to do. He's got some work to do if these guys ever want to win a championship together. Um, otherwise, I could see him being traded pretty quick, and then they got to find somebody for Joel Embiid, because he needs some help, man. He's been outstanding. I always thought he's kind of a whiner, crybaby guy, which I still think he kind of is. But, I mean, the fact that this guy is going out there with a torn ligament in his knee and still being able to put up these numbers that he's been putting up over the last few games here, I mean, all credit to him for being able to push through it and be that leader that that team needs. Um, but he needs a running mate, man, because Ben Simmons is not the guy. Ben Simmons ain't going to get it done. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section, though. What do you think of Ben Simmons' performance? Do you think this guy's a wash? You think they're going to have to find somebody else to go as a running mate for uh, Joel Embiid in the future? What do you guys think of the chances of the Sixers being able to come back and take this game or this series in seven games? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Once again, you guys, I appreciate all the support. Please go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment if you so choose. Subscribe if you so choose. And once again, this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sportscast. Bye.